departure. Inks Lake State Park headed to Loafer's Bend on Lake Whitney. <laughs> We are at Loafer's Bend West, not East. I said East when we were turning in. But we have arrived and we are 96% set up in site number 47. And that, my friends, that is the restroom. Just a hop, skip, and a jump away. But we have a sewer. I didn't even know when I made the reservation. There's actually sewer here. So we have water and 30 amp and sewer. So there won't be any real need to go over to the restroom or the dump station on our way out. Site's fairly level. Had to put a 
a couple two in two by six blocks under this side also had to do the same for the step because if i'd have pulled the trailer forward a little bit i wouldn't have had to block up the step but you know hey we're there we're here so i'm gonna leave it as is well, one thing that i don't like is based on prints in the mud here when it rains this is soggy but we're not supposed to get any more rain today and as hot as it is, it should dry out. Got a barbecue grill, cooker, fire ring. There was already some firewood here. I didn't have to go track any down. Concrete table and a metal shade structure. I won't even need to set up the, the pop-up Coleman while we're here. Of course, we're only here for one night and a scooter tour. All right, here we are. Loafer's Bend, Corps of Engineers property on Lake Whitney in Whitney, Texas. Got the scooter, got the GoPro. We're going to go for a little ride, a little tour. I, I have only looked at this park on online the maps online and that was a week ago they didn't give me a map when i checked in so we're going to be exploring as we go <music> All right, we have returned to camp. Have returned from whence we started. Hope you guys enjoyed a little scooting around Loafers Bend Park here on Lake Whitney. Fourth of July weekend, 2017. For my final scooter tour for a little while. It'll be September for our next excursion. We've got some kind of commotion going on over there. I'm not sure if somebody's in the wrong spot or what. Just finished having a bite of lunch. Came out here to set up my campground panoramic shot. Next thing I know, there's horns blowing and beating on some hitch or something and making all kinds of racket but anyway one thing i discovered while i was wandering around is those bathrooms they don't work so there's only one bathroom for two camp loops so it's probably going to be really busy tonight good thing we've got full connections and won't be needing to utilize that shower bb is so tired he didn't want to come outside but the other two tex and ziva are restless after that long car ride today.
I've been thinking a lot about two awning. Now, we have two awnings on our sunset trail. Now, on previous trips, I was not pleased with the two awnings because of this gap. There's about, what, 30 inches between them? And when it rains, rain blows in between them. And on a sunny day, the sun will track, depending on orientation of the trailer. So you have to move. And I was kind of thinking it was a detractor. Those are the downsides. The upsides, on this trip, there have been two different campsites where we set up. If we had had a full length awning, we would not have had any awning at all because of a tree positioned or a bush back here toward the back of the trailer. That allowed, having two awnings allowed us to open this one over the door and gave us protection, some protection from the rain. Now we still had rain coming in over here, but we had some awning versus no awning. And if we'd have had just one big long awning, we would have had none. So there are pros and cons to having the two different awnings on our trailer. I think I'd still rather have one long awning and find a campsite that would accommodate that versus having the two awnings with the big gap between them. Because if you get a good campsite where you can open your awning and you have a split between them, then you've got the challenges. So anyway, the next RV will most likely have one long solid awning. But anyway, Bob Barker thoughts on two awnings versus one. Deep stuff, man. It's time for a sexy BB cameo. BB, say hi. Your fans want to say hi. You happy dog? You like camping? What you hear, buddy? You hear those kids? We're watching camp. Protecting the camp. He's a guard dog. We passed through Hamilton today on our way back from Inks Lake, headed to Lake Whitney, Hamilton, Texas. If you're ever passing through Hamilton, Texas, and you like meat, you need to pay a visit to the Wenzel Meat Market. Those dudes know how to make some sausage. Tonight we're having, or I am having a spinach cheese sausage kind of thing. It's kind of like boudin. It's got some rice in it, but Wenzel has got some of the very best brats that I have ever eaten. We were fortunate, I was fortunate enough to have some meat from there last year. They actually have a website and you can order it online and have it shipped to you. I've never done that before, um, but Wenzel meat, good stuff. Cannot recommend it enough. If you like sausage, those dudes know what they're doing. All right, on another note, I've come to the conclusion that our site here, site number 47 has one main drawback, and that is that it faces due west. So there is very little shade as the sun goes down and it gets hot. Of course, there's not a whole lot of solar gain on the trailer because it's hitting the front of the trailer. But still, if you wanna hang around outside, the shade structure, <laughs> It's wide open to the sun. So I got the mister and the fan going. Old BB is enjoying that part of it. So anyway, site number 57, it's hot.
they say happy wife happy life i got a happy wife first time that uh, yappy has had the opportunity to actually utilize the washer and dryer that's something that i've been handling she's ecstatic we're not having to take a lot of the stuff back home to wash she's doing it right here in the last camp she's a happy happy yappy which is a good thing well the morning of the last day of our journey we have spent cleaning and packing and cleaning and cleaning and everything ready for our next adventure i think we're about eight weeks out before we hit the road again wait until the hottest part of the year has passed before we journey forth once again it's been a fun and relaxing for the most part trip a lot of miles covered i think on our next journey we're gonna spend more time in fewer locations so less journeying and more chilling anyway hey, i really appreciate all of you folks that have been following and watching and subscribing thanks